Hello and welcome to all you magnificent stargazers out there. This is your horoscopes for the lunar mansions of the moon signs, okay? It's a lunar horoscope, and it's for the waxing crescent moon that is on the 6th, the waxing half moon that's on the 7th, and the waxing gibbous moon from the 8th to the 12th. This is from the the 6th of June, now that's Devil's Night. We're gonna make a special video about that, so make sure you watch that video about Devil's Night and the Lunar Mansion and pay special attention in this one. We're gonna make an extra one too. And also, there's going to be on the 11th, some, the, eight, the 18th Mansion on the 11th of June. And that's something that you also have to be mindful of. Be mindful of it because what happens is we can overdo. I do it, we all do it. So this is to tell you to pace yourself, do what you need to do, but don't push yourself so hard that you become physically ill. Because, and we'll get into that, because it can cause fevers and it can cause stomach upsets. And you can just push yourself too hard and then that's not gonna do you any good. You gotta stay healthy, you gotta stay functional. There's a lot of hype right now, especially around Devil's Night on the 6th, June 6th, 6th, 6th. Same number of books in the Protestant Bible, but that's another story. All right, so we're going to go through as Moon goes through, again, from June 6th all the way through June 12th. And we're going to go through Virgo. The Moon's going to transit through Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. We're using tropical astrology, universal time coordinated. Now, use projective imaging pictures or magic during this waxing moon. This one is to find hidden treasure. That'll be great. Now, psychic astrology message. We want to give you the lunar angels and the lunar lords, and this is your guidance for the, for the lunar mansions and what you can do using images. Projective images is a time to project onto your audience how you want them to respond. This is a time for you to be projective, either to your audience or project whatever to yourself, for, so that when you're, you're in a receptive mode, you can receive what you've projected to yourself. In reality, this is all about the self, because even the audience is part of the self, because the audience simply reacts to whatever you're projecting, okay? So that's how it works. That's the monad, that the, the self and the not-self, in reality, the not-self is part of the self. But we want to have our boundaries of our self, our ego. Now, when you get beyond self into not-self and begin to understand how that is yourself, then you breach the membrane of the ego and you get into the soul. That becomes the soul and that becomes the over-self and that becomes the body you're building for your next incarnation, okay? How you treat others is gonna be how your body will be in the next incarnation. So if you treat others bad, it'll be harmful to your body in the next incarnation. If you treat others well and healthily and you have good intentions, you'll have a good body and a good circumstance in the next incarnation. That's how you manage it. That's how you understand it. That's the truth of karma, okay, that nobody tells you. All right, now. On the 6th of June, 2022, we have a Virgo moon. Again, that is a waxing, that is a, a waxing crescent moon on the 6th. Waxing crescent moon on the 6th. And that is devil's night. Devil's night. So people play pranks. Even people you care about, you, some, some, maybe your friends, maybe your neighbors, maybe your church buddies, whatever. It's when those who consider themselves to be incarnations of the horn god Cernunos, that's when they put their horns on and run around causing pranks. So try not to overreact. And, and watch our video about that, about the 6th and the 11th, and the warnings about that. But understand that you don't want to overreact. You want to stay calm on Devil's Night. You can always do what you need to do later on when it calms down. Because they're trying to get you to attack them. So they can say that you're hurting them. That's what they're trying to do. So don't fall for it, okay? Don't fall for it. Now, the Lunar Mansion, at 1442 hours, the Lunar Mansion 13 is where the waxing crescent moon is going to ingress. Now, find generosity, increased journeys, reaping rewards, and detainees gaining independence, okay? 
Use pictures or figurines of couples embracing with the woman in white wax and the man in red wax to help spells meant for decisive procreative encounters and romance for the creation of progeny. Add magical scents and aromas to your talismans by perfuming wax figurines with lingam alloys and amber. Got to add the sense of smell. Impotence curses placed on a man can be dissolved with these potent magical talismans. From the dogs of Virgo or the winged ones of Virgo in the constellation of Virgo, the Virgin, with lunar angel Jezreel and Lord Azarut. On the 7th, we have June 7th, a waxing gibbous moon, the moon increasing, projective magic. You're projecting onto yourself for when you're receptive or onto a receptive audience for when they're recepting. You know, whatever they're going to receive, that's when you're going to go ahead and see it fulfilled. So don't, don't, don't think that just because it doesn't, they're not being receptive right away, that they're not being receptive at all. Because in reality, you have to wait until the moon is, is waning for them to be receptive as well. Okay? Understand that. So, on, this, on the 7th of, of June with this waxing half moon, 7th of June, waxing half moon, Virgo moon at 15, 21 hours, lunar mansion number 14 is when that half moon is in, going to be in Virgo, but it's going to be in Lunar Mansion 14. So on the crescent moon, it'll be in 13. On the half moon, it'll be in 14. Lunar Mansion 14. Both Virgo, but a different aspect of Virgo. You need to understand that. Find healing of ailments and cures for sicknesses. Also favors married couples. Good for voyaging on the water, bad for journeys on the land. Beware the image of a dog chasing and biting his tail for it causes divorce and separation of the man from the woman. From Virgo's ear of corn in the constellation of Virgo the Virgin with lunar angel Urgediel and Lord Urgedal. Now, some, sometimes you're going to see these images in TV shows, movies, commercials, advertisements. This is how advertising works. This is what all these wonderful TV shows and commercials and movies and all this stuff is for. It's to program you to get things to happen to you so that they can be uh, rolling in the dough and you can be someone that needs them so that you're paying and they're, and they're getting to spend all your money. Understand that. So that's how it works. So if you want to have it be so where you can instead influence yourself in a good way, then you need to understand the lunar mansions, understand the images, and use them in your own favor. And that's what I am trying to help you. I am trying to do for you. So on the 8th of June, 2022, we have lunar mansion number 15. We'll have the waxing gibbous moon ingressing into the lunar mansion number 15, Libra moon at 15, 22 hours. Find profit from finding and obtaining hidden riches, excavation of burrows, excellent for legal separations if you're trying to get a divorce or something or a legal separation, and powerful for causing conflict. So people who want to cause conflict will use this mansion. But it's also good for obtaining hidden treasure. Okay? So there's good and there's bad. But it also de it's, it's going to depend on your point of view, what side of the coin you're on. Also, valuable for annihilation of dwellings. It's not always bad to annihilate a dwelling. Sometimes that's what you have to do before you build your new house, is get rid of the old one, build a new one sometimes. But if your house that you've built is still good and you like it, you can always add on, okay? But this, in case you have to destroy a house, then you can, or a building. Then, you know, they destroy buildings and they rebuild, or they make a, a park where the building used to be, whatever, okay? Also, it's also good for the eradication of opponents. So if you have people that, you, that, that you've been allowing to maybe, say, say maybe you've been allowing people to make bad comments on your channel by taking someone's advice. Well, if it's getting to you and you can't take it anymore, use this mansion on this day, on the 8th, at this, at this after 15, 22 hours UTC, Universal Time Coordinated, to remove comments that really are, are hurting you if it's too much, okay? Leave the comments if you can, but if it's hurting you too much and there's too much of an insult, then go ahead and eradicate it. This is a great day to do it, okay? See how it works. 
though this is a day that's terrible for voyages. So it's a good day to sit and, and, and dote on yourself like that because it's not good for you to really travel that day. Also, you can use the image of a woman or a man or yourself sitting and drawing letters on paper or parchment. So if you write, it makes people like you. It makes you look friendly. So what is a good thing to do is to get a piece of paper and write on it and then film yourself writing on a piece of paper. It does work. When I did take the time to do it, I did that on Facebook one time. On Halloween, I wrote Happy Halloween. I just wrote it, and I showed my hand writing it with a pen. I got a lot of friends when I did that because it makes people like you. So if you see people like who they sit and they, they draw on a, those, those where they draw and they show it on a, sc on a screen, like they used to do when you were a little kid in high school or in, in grade school when you were a little kid if that was before computers, that causes people to like you. It's a lunar mansion. It's this mansion. They're using this mansion. They know about these mansions. They told you the moon was bad, and then they use it, and they get rich, and you get poor, and their numbers go up, and your numbers go down, because you don't use the moon because you're afraid of it. We're all taught to be afraid of the moon, okay? You understand. We're taught to be afraid of the word cancer, and then cancer, the crab that's ruled by the moon. You see how it works? And then, you know, the breasts are ruled by the moon, and, and nurturing is cancer, the crab. See? And they make... Women afraid of their own body and hate their own bodies, and that's how men get ahead and women don't get anywhere because they just don't fight for themselves. Because we don't have the hormones, the testosterone, to make us cruel and to make us aggressive. So, but if you understand, then you can resist when they tell you bad things about yourself or tell you bad things about using the moon for your own purposes because they use it, you might as well too. So, also... The representation that you want to use is something that you can also do because the representation, it creates familiarity. When you write on a piece of paper, and I don't, the reason it makes them like you is because it makes them feel familiar with you. It makes them feel like they know you. It gives you a familiarity. And to be any kind of a star, you have to be familiar. You have to look familiar, okay, for them, for them to for everybody to want to get to know you and to binge on you, they have to see someone that they're familiar with. Also, it causes alliance, support, and friendliness. From one that is cloaked or covered while flying in the constellation of Libra the Scales, the pointer stars in Virgo, nevertheless, with lunar angel Ataliel and Lord Achalich. Okay? Achalich. Remember, cloaked flying. And that's why in Star Trek you have the cloaked Klingon warbirds. It's a lunar mansion. It's lunar mansion number 15. Understand that. On the 9th of June, 2022, we have a Libra moon at 1440 hours. The waxing gibbous moon is going to move into lunar mansion number 16. Be mindful of encumbrances or obstacles when going on a journey, getting married, doing business, or reaping crops, and also when you're reaping rewards. Though this mansion is good for vindicating confined people. So if you've been confined and people haven't let you out of your cage, or they've been caging you because they want to keep you all to themselves or something like that, then this is a time when you can really get beyond your encumbrances and you can get out there and do business and reap some rewards for yourself during Lunar Mansion number 16. It's good to use a picture of a man sitting on a chair while grasping a weight or a pair of balances of scales in his hands. Remember, this is Libra. For it causes abundance of sales, of good um, promotions and merchandising and displays. Now, regarding the, the ancient larger scorpion that was 60 degrees and the modern scorpion 30 degrees, what you have is a situation where Libra is now what used to be the horns of Scorpio. So Scorpio can't really get a hold of things and get everything done without Libra. Therefore, it's very auspicious, very lucky indeed that Vice President Kamala Harris is a Libra and President Joe Biden is a Scorpio because he helps her so, so much and she helps him so much. They, they're able to work together as one body and be that ancient 60 degrees Arabic scorpion. And that, that's a wonderful situation because it makes our country very strong, very strong indeed. And they get things done. Now, 
the lunar angel for this mansion number 16 is lunar angel Azeruel, and the Lord is Azeruch. For the 10th of June, 2022, we have the Libra moon going into the Scorpio moon, and we have lunar mansion 17, we have the moon ingressing into 17 at 13, 17 hours. It's valuable to turn unfortunate events into fortunate ones. Causes romance and love to become strong and powerfully felt. It strengthens structures and is lucky for sailors. Use a picture or a figurine of a primate, monkey, or gorilla to guard yourself and those you care for against burglars, muggers, and intruders. From the crown of Scorpio, when the astrological scorpion, again, when it was larger, being 60 degrees instead of 30 degrees, the stars in this mansion now span from the end of the constellation of Libra, the scales, to the beginning of the constellation of the modern Scorpio, the scorpion, with lunar angel Adriel and Lord Adriel, four number 17. Remember, that's on the 10th. On the 11th, I said this was an important day because this is an important mansion number 18. Now listen up. On, and we have an extra video about that, so go check that out. On the 11th of June, we have Scorpio Moon at 11, 13 hours. Lunar Mansion number 18 is actually what happens at 11, 13 hours universal time coordinated. That's Lunar Mansion number 18. Find freedom if you are a captive. So if you feel like you're, you're a prisoner and you can't go out because maybe you have all of this, these lockdowns and these, all this COVID stuff and you feel like you're you know, just too much of a captive, this is a day to find freedom. You've had your booster, you can go out now. A good day to strengthen your edifices. You, know, you can wear a mask when you need to and there's, if you're outside, you don't always have to, right? That's the new rules. So just do whatever, you know, when in Rome, do whatever you're supposed to do in the area that you're in. But anyway, it's a good day to strengthen your edifices. Find freedom if you're a captive. Take heed of revenge from enemies. This is a day when people seek revenge. Understand that, okay? So if someone did something to someone on Devil's Night, if they did a prank, a retaliation might come on the 11th. Understand that, okay? Warning right there, okay? Understand that. Also, a transit full of full of threats when people may threaten you or menace you. There will be dissension, uprisings, and schemes against monarchs and powerful people. They're going to want to bring you down so they can have like a mutiny and put their own sock puppet up. They want somebody that they can control in there running things instead of you being in there running things. Understand that. Be ready for it. If somebody moves against you, get rid of them because they're, they're just going to turn everybody against you, okay? You're going to have to be strong, especially after Devil's Night. It's very important. This is especially important in Lunar Mansion number 18, especially important. This is from the heart of the Scorpion in the constellation of Scorpio the Scorpion with Lunar Angel Egebiel and Lord Egrabel. Also, on this 12th, on the 12th, of June. We have Scorpio moon moving into Sagittarius moon and we move into lunar mansion number 19 at 0833 hours. Lunar mansion 19, find successful hunting and plowing of fields. Profitable for pillaging urban centers and making war. So if you are an urban center or a neighborhood, you want to barricade or have some kind of a neighborhood watch against that to Barricade yourself or protect yourself. A transit that causes sorrow, devastation, defeat, and displacement. So you're going to want to really make sure that your, that your area is strong and secure so that they cannot displace you. Don't let them displace you. You're going to have to dig in and get everybody together to make sure that you have a secure area. Secure yourselves. Have a good defense. You have to have a good defense, okay? They say the, 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 you know, the, the best defense is an offense. Nevertheless, if you have a good defense and if it's strong enough, they'll bounce right off of it because offensive moves are usually not legal. Only defensive moves are legal. If there are legal offensive moves, then you can take them, but understand that the best thing to do is have a very, very strong defense. And make sure your offensive moves are legal, because usually offensive moves are not legal. Understand that. 
And they're going to try to get you to do things, to, they're going to try to provoke you and get you to do illegal things and attack them so they can turn around and say that you attacked them first. So you want to film everything, you want to document everything, you want to be prepared. This is an intense week. Be prepared. Go watch the video on that. Understand that. What you want to do then is use the picture or figurine of a woman holding her hands upon her face and covering her eyes to induce birthing a child to cause a woman's blood moon to begin. Now, this is a, this is a legal offensive move you can make, and it will hurt somebody else. But understand that if you hurt somebody else, you're hurting your, the body in your next life. So only use this if you need to induce birth or need to induce, induce a woman's blood moon that's healthy for her. Because if you try to hurt the woman or try to hurt a country, when they had pictures of the, of the Statue of Liberty covering her face, they were making us bleed. We had a lot, of, a, lot of people, a lot of people hurt each other in America during that time. It was a bad time. It works, okay? So, but what they did was they did it to their own future body, and they don't realize that. They think that when they're dead, that that's the end of it, so they don't have to worry about it. But anything you do to anything that is not self or the opposite of you in this life is you're doing to your body in your next life. You're creating your body for your next life that you're going to incarnate into. And you can do it consciously, see? And if you, if you, if, if you hurt your body in your next life, then you're going to have a bad next life. So... Only do things that are helpful. Use, the blood moon can be used in a helpful way. Excuse me. You can start a blood moon using the woman with the hands covering her face. You can induce a blood moon in a woman or induce a birth of a child in a woman only when it's healthy for her and the child to do so. If you do it to hurt or either her or the child, you're harming yourself in your next life. Understand that. So just wanting to hurt people and you think you're getting away with something, you're only hurting yourself and your own body in your next life. So you know what? You're not helping yourself. You're only hurting yourself. You're not hurting me. Understand that. Because I know more than you do about what happens in your next life. What happens in your next life is you consciously let your love go into you, other people and do what's good for them because that's going to be your body and your consciousness in your next life. And if you hurt your other people or you hurt your own consciousness in your next life, you'll have a, a very difficult next life. So that's all you're doing is hurting yourself. You're not hurting me. Because I know what I'm doing. Because I understand this. Because I took the time to, to learn it. All right. This is from the tale of the scorpion and the constellation of Scorpio, the scorpion spanning the, from the beginning of Sagittarius with lunar angel Amutiel and Lord Anusel. Anusel. Understand this. All right. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time, and we'll have all this stuff for you next week. Understand that this is a dangerous week. Watch the video about the warnings, and make sure others watch these videos so they know what to do. Share it, share it, like it, like it. Warn others so that others know what to do. Thanks for joining us. Join us again next week.